man his soul, be not cut off in her iniquity, for this is the time of the Lord's vengeance. He will render unto her recompense. There's going to be a time, brothers and sisters, the Lord is going to act. And you better not be found in battle. Let's turn to John. Let's just go back to John 8. In the church, Jesus said, this is the light of the world, right? The light of the world. So let's just start right there. Because in, in John chapter 8 and verse 12, I have a little heading that says, the light of the world. And then, then verse 12. Then spake Jesus unto them, saying, I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. What is that light of life if it's not the character of Christ? Do we want the character of Christ to shine upon us? How did he treat Mary? How do you treat Mary? The Pharisees therefore said unto him, Thou bearest record of thyself. Thy record is not true. Jesus answered and said unto them, Though I bear record of myself, yet my record is true. For I know whence I came, and whither I go. But ye cannot tell whence I come, and whither I go. Ye judge after the flesh. I judge no man. Yet if I judge, my judgment is true. For I am not alone, but I am the Father that sent me. It is also written in your law that the testimony of two men is true. I am one that beareth witness of myself, and the Father that sent me beareth witness of me. There's the two. Then said they unto him, Where is thy Father? Jesus answered, Ye neither know me nor my Father. If ye had known me, you should have known my Father also. These, brothers and sisters, are scribes and Pharisees. They're supposed to be leaders of the people. Leaders of the people, but they're blind. Blind. They don't even know the Creator right there before them. Can we be so self deceived? Can we be so self deceived? These words spake Jesus in the treasury as he taught in the temple. And no man laid hands on him, for his hour was not yet come. It sure means that they wanted to, doesn't it? Then said Jesus again unto them, I go my way, and ye shall seek me, and shall die in your sins. Whither I go, ye cannot come. Then said the Jews, Will he kill himself? Because he saith, Whither I go, Ye cannot come. And he said unto them, Ye are from beneath. I am from above. Ye are of this world. I am not of this world. I said therefore unto you, That ye shall die in your sins. For if you believe not that I am he, Ye shall die in your sins. Make no bones about it, brothers and sisters. Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the life. And there is no other. It doesn't matter what anybody says. Then said they unto him, Who art thou? And Jesus said unto them, Even the same that I said unto you from the beginning, I have many things to say and to judge of you, but he that sent me is true, and I speak to the world those things which I have heard of him. They understood not that he spake of them, that he spake to them of the Father. Then said Jesus unto them, When ye have lifted up the Son of Man, then shall ye know that I am he, and that I do nothing of myself. But as my Father hath taught me, I speak these things. Jesus is our way. He is the truth, the light. He's the pattern, right? Jesus follows God. We follow Jesus, don't we? Isn't that the way it's supposed to be? And he that sent me is with me. The Father that, 
the Father hath not left me alone, for I always do those things that please Him. I wonder if that was our thought. I wonder if, if that was your new motto for 2018. I always do those things that please Him. That's the kind of fear you ought to have. That you do the things that don't please Him. That you don't please Him. And He spake these words. As He spake these words, many believed on Him. Then Jesus said to those Jews which believed on him, okay, if ye continue in my word, then ye are my disciples indeed. If ye continue in my word. What does that mean to continue in his word? It means that I come to the Bible as a little child with such honesty and such, and such sincerity that I say to God, listen, Father in heaven, I want to worship you, I want to know you, I want to love you, and there's a lot of things that I don't understand. But if you will show me and you will teach me, then I'm going to look in here and you're going to, you're going to, you're going to change me. And I'm going to do the things that you want me to do. My life is going to change because I'm giving it over to you. I don't know about you, brothers and sisters, but I can't seem to do anything right on my own. I screw it all up. I really will. Without Jesus, I'm finished. And ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. That's the nourishment, brothers and sisters, right there. That's the sap that comes from being in the vine. The Lord Jesus is longing to feed us. But how hungry are you? How hungry are you? Brothers and sisters, there is no difference between us and them. So my prayer for you today is that you stop looking at us and you stop looking at them we start looking at Jesus. Because if we start looking at Jesus, we can be prepared. And we can be preparing a people. And we can go home. Our closing song will be 251.
says salvation to impart. If there's anybody here today, brothers and sisters, if you haven't given your heart to Jesus Christ, I implore you today to wait no longer. Lay it all down. Let it be here. Let it be left here. Let's leave all the junk in this place today because God can cleanse his sanctuary. Amen. The only way that we're going to be free is if our sin is confessed and it's put into the sanctuary. And then he deals with it. He can deal with it. He has the blood that can clear any sin. Brothers and sisters, I pray that we, as we love one another and we go from this place, that we are changed and we're not the same. That we begin to think differently about our friends and our co-workers and the people around us. And even the person right next to you in the pew. Let's learn to love one another. That's what they had to do in the upper room to get the Holy Spirit poured out. We are never going to have the kind of power we need to finish this work without the Holy Spirit. We have to have Him. And when you want Him more than you want the next breath, brothers and sisters, your light is going to shine. And people in this church are going to see it. And it's infectious. And they're going to all want it. And it'll take off like a wildfire that'll go across this whole state and country. Do we really want to go home? Amen. Let us be in the spirit of prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we want to thank you so much that you love us despite ourselves. We want to thank you that you moved heaven and earth to save us. We want to thank you that you didn't give Jesus to us for a moment, but you gave him to us forever. And we're so thankful that he is willing to be given. And that he is acting as our high priest. He took on that role so that he could save us. But he has never ceased to be the king of kings and the Lord of lords. And I long for the day that he can put down those priestly robes. Father in heaven, change our hearts so that we can see Jesus as he is supposed to be. The creator God. In him we ask for these things.